Welcome to this League of Politics Champion Spotlight, featuring Vosh, the Horse Lord. Why do people wear gloves? It's obvious that my hands are cold. Vosh is one of the three major champions that were released as part of the legendary Political Streamer Expansion Pack, which has since dominated the meta in League of Politics. He is a very powerful, dedicated tank, with a number of abilities that allow him to absorb tons of damage, drama, and general controversy. Let's take a look at what this hoofed hero can do on the Rift. Oh! Vosh hails from the most elite and wealthy parts of the upper city in Piltover. As a youth, Vosh witnessed the steep inequality between the citizens of the upper city and the disenfranchised denizens of the undercity known as Zaun. Driven by his deep sense of compassion, Vosh became a socialist, courageously championing the plight of the poor and dispossessed without ever actually doing anything to help them. In his quest for glory, Vosh befriended a magical goblin called Destiny. But after an unfortunate dispute over a member of Destiny's harem, Vosh struck out on his own to conquer the rift for himself. Vosh's passive is Weapons Grade Autism. Considered by many to be the ultimate double-edged sword, this ability grants major boosts to Vosh's rhetorical abilities. Hyperfixation has always been my most predominant autistic characteristic, I suppose, like dropping everything to hyperfixate on something. For me, it was public speaking, um, which I obviously <laughs> enjoy very much and now get to do for a living, so, <laughs> you know, that worked out pretty well in my favor. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The cost of such a powerful passive should not be underestimated, though. Without trying to deflect, this passive makes it difficult to read social cues from teammates and to avoid making optically unsound arguments. And I hate to pull this out, because this sounds like some invalid self-defense, but I am autistic. I'm a lot better at making arguments than I used to be. I'm a lot less... I don't, know, this is, I, I don't know, I'm not trying to deflect, I'm a lot less autistic than I used to be, I don't know. Vosh's Q is literally a fascist. Vosh targets an enemy champion and accuses them of being a fascist, dealing a moderate amount of true damage. It is in being a fascist. Because this ability deals true damage, Vosh doesn't need to itemize for armor penetration or provide any evidence. As long as they disagree with Vosh, they are vulnerable to this highly spammable ability. It's from conservatives, people who are often fascists. You're a fascist! Low Vosh, you really saying Peterson is a fascist? Yeah. No matter what she personally believes, she covers for fascists. I don't even know if he's a, a Nazi. Um, he's definitely an anti-Semite. <laughs> Vosh's W is Postmodern Parry. Vosh enters a defensive stance, ignoring all incoming damage from the next enemy attack. First, Vosh spends a few seconds channeling the power of moral relativism. Whereas a moral anti-realist is of the opinion that there's no such thing as an epistemically objective morality, but they're objectively right or wrong in the framework of an intersubjective set of moral principles. Once he's uttered the incantations, Vosh then puts his postmodern magic into practice, granting him invulnerability against even the most basic of facts. But let's just use the example of water. Maybe we could agree that water is H2O. That was true even before we knew about chemistry. This it was isn't H2O. True. I'm sorry? This isn't true. Don't that water has not always been H2O? Yeah. All you have to do is cross the Mexican border. And over there, it's aqua that's H2O, not water. Aqua means water. Aqua is water. It's a different they, term. Uh, actually, it's agua. It's not aqua, right? And we're referring <laughs> to terms and definitions here. No, I'm referring to water. The stuff that fills lakes and rivers. The I'm stuff that fills... about the word water. Many things fill lakes and rivers. Okay. Vosh's E is Equestrian Eros. Vosh whinnies loudly, <laughs> tapping into his deep love and affinity for the animal kingdom. You can write this down. I want to f the woman as a horse. After transforming into a glorious stallion, Vosh gish gallops in a straight line, dealing massive damage to any naysayers in range, and significantly destabilizing their morale. Let's stop beating a dead horse here. Vosh's ultimate is Lollipop. Vosh ignores all the obvious negative effects of consistently and repeatedly sitting in front of your computer and watching too much adult content. As somebody with an entirely healthy relationship to pornography, you know, if I want to look at fat, I can just look at the fat, and then I can just, you know, leave, walk away from the computer. Hello, darkness, my old friend. As the inevitable desire for novelty increases, Vosh reaches a critical level of degeneracy. See, this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. 
oh! allowing him to summon an army of questionable cartoon figures and short stack goblins to aid him in battle. You'll have to entertain me for a moment on this presumed shared knowledge of how goblins get drawn in pornography, but you know how they're all like, Thick short stacks, right? These creepy conjurations then activate a global taunt, forcing every champion on the map, including his own allies, to attack Vosh wherever he is. As a hyper-progressive tank, Vosh is usually found in the top lane, alongside a team of other highly intelligent but generally useless socialists. Vosh is a strong lane bully and can whittle down opponents by spamming literally a fascist over and over again. If he overextends, Equestrian Eros grants Vosh horse-like mobility to escape any incoming ganks. But be careful when this ability is on cooldown, as Vosh has no other strong escapes, and his weapons-grade autism makes it difficult for him to travel. Why are you so lazy? It's not a laziness thing, man. Travel makes me f***ing queasy. It makes me sick. I feel like depressive the entire week after I give. I f***ing hate travel. I've always hated travel. Why? Literally autism. Vosh's kit makes him very good at countering enemy carries. He can tell a spellcasting sorcerer like J.K. Rowling to literally shut the f up without suffering any damage from accusations of misogyny. I'll just lay out my points right here, okay? I think that all the people who are hand-wringing over this are borderline defending J.K. Rowling by implication. So the people who are fretting over this are essentially siding with the transphobe, either because their optics or civility politics brained in a very liberal fashion, or because they hate me so much that they have to adopt any position which allows them to condemn me. Despite the hyper-progressive nature of his kit, Vosh is capable of making some base takes when postmodern parry is on cooldown and he's forced to use common sense. Quit making pride, quit making the existence of gay people a sex thing. Isn't that the progressive argument? That teaching kids sexuality isn't the same thing as exposing them to sex? Isn't that the whole argument we make? Kids should go to Pride. It should be a cool thing for- it should be a block party with cotton candy. It should be a community fair. If you want a kink thing, go to a private venue. It's also important to remember that the majority of Vosh players are severely autistic teenagers. So while it's easy to write off Vosh as a bottom tier champion, one should not forget the valid reasons so many people like to play him. Listen, you have to understand, there's no such thing as a as a, a person who doesn't experience awkward conversations. There is nobody so charismatic that they don't have trouble with that. This is the conversational gap. Your thoughts are locked away inside of your skull. Nobody can see them and nobody ever will. The best you can do is express them through vocal or physical communication. That's it. This is not a mechanism for seamless interaction making. It's gonna cause problems for everyone, you know? You're just trying to make it as good as you can. Thank you for watching this Champion Spotlight. Join us next time for a closer look at Benjamin Netanyahu, the Lord of Darkness.